Good morning guys, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday you guys, I am running out the house and if Babe seen me recording right here, he would be mad because he's in the car waiting on me. We're getting ready to go to a distillery. It's about two hours away. I'm just going along for the ride, supporting my husband's uh, hobby. Um, I guess the master distiller is gonna be signing bottles and he wants to get one and we're running late. Knowing you're going to build a following, so a lot of people- You don't care what you're doing to me. I've been down in the ruins so deep All the games they you play, all the love you forsaken You let it slip away Oh, 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 oh You don't care This is where we drove three hours That's crazy 13th Colony Oh wait, look at this. Look at this guy here. Mr. Boston. So guys, we are here at the distillery. This is in um, America's Georgia, so it took us about two and a half, two hours, 45 minutes to get here. Looks like we're the first ones here. They have like a um, tour that's coming up at 1.30. And of course, um, my husband was extra early and we're the first ones here so he did tell us you know we could like look around walk around and that these decanters here on the table they were saying like we can take some we could take some because um she said there's like those are like their gifts to us for the people that come so i'm gonna show you the one that i think babe should get for his office not his office but for his bar Let's see. And another thing, I picked it up and dropped it. It was loud too. I was saying how I picked, picked that thing up and, and dropped it. So this is the one I think babe should get. That is going to be what we call a dirty Shirley. So it is grenadine, lemon lime, um, Sprite, and vodka. Mm -hmm. So it's a good, nice summery drink. Mm -hmm. right. It's pretty it's good. good. So you'll notice we have two vodkas. We have a plantation vodka and a southern vodka. Um, plantation vodka was just our very first attempt at a, at a spirit just when we opened up in 2009. You know, you don't really just have a four-year-old anything ready so you have to age it and things like that so vodka we push you know like it just comes out of the steel you water it down and out the door you go pull from it we've got a train station and a gas station um, so we actually have to get from city water and behind this uh, big black tank that you see over here there's actually a lovely brown filter and that is what uh, the city of america considers clean drinking water we actually take those distilleries if you go to them because this was actually started um, as a hobby for our owners. Uh, they wanted a way to make legal booze uh, because doing it on the farm was bootlegging. So they started this. Um, they thought, oh, this will be a good hobby. This will make a little bit of money. Um, I don't think that they had ever planned for as much as we've grown. 
this again? So this is white dog. Um, I'm assuming this is tails. So mm, I, I smell don't it. take me to heart, but um, I'm assuming this is tails, which is you get your heads, your hearts, and your tails. Um, you use your hearts mainly, um, and then your heads and your tails. You kind of re them for, um, and this big shiny brand new thing comes in, and we're all like little kids because we've all like the boys have always had to make things. Um, you know, if we needed a part for something, they just welded it themselves or it was used and so this was the first time that we've gotten something that's like brand zero clue. A lot of it was like back in medicine, wasn't it? Did they use it for like medicinal something or other back in the day? Not for medicine, not for cosmetics, yeah. it's factory. Excuse me. Um, but it was just a bunch of, they didn't need a bunch of rooms. So we actually added this on recently and stretched it out to one of our bottles. So they're going to, I have no yeah, because okay. apparently uh, on the website, you guys said that. You're going to try some favorites. I will say the only, I don't mind the. Oh, okay. There is. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no climate control whatsoever out here. There's no fans, there's no air conditioners, there's no heaters. Um, the only things that are climate controlled are the rooms. We do open these big doors up and we let the rink house just. So we, it comes off of our farm. We have the farm next to us. They're called Godfrey's Feed and Seed. They mill it for us. This is the corn. Oh, this is good. This is good. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't have that immediately. Mm -hmm. So, so what, is what is this uh, proof there? Hmm? What is this proof there? 120.6. And what are these proofed at? That, that's the, it's the same thing. That's the, one that's, the one that's the one that you're getting today. I know mine is like 129 or something. Is it 129? Mm -hmm. the, one I, the one I bought, yeah, it's 129. I wonder if you had a different, a different cast strength. Maybe you've got a single barrel. You so. might have gotten the single barrel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a single barrel. Oh, well, see, you got what yours, what you got is different than this one. Okay. This is the cash string. It's crazy. It's like 35 bucks or something. <laughs> some peach ice cream and I got some peach cobbler this was a peach like marketplace or something like that they have like a lot of other things but basically it's like centered around peaches peach cider peach ice cream peach cobbler all the different um, peaches that are soaked in something did you guys see the pickled peaches peach brittle peach brittle peach peach peanut brittle all right i feel like you guys can see me better but yeah they have a lot of just peach stuff in there um i want to try that peach cobbler warm right now maybe just ate him a peach he bought him some peaches too
like a corn pudding. And it tastes like it's sh sugar free, probably. It's not sweet, like. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, guys. Sunday, fun day. Sunday, fun day. We're going into World Market. Coconut mango milk. Oh my god, what does this smell like? Oh, that smells good, you guys. And I love this packaging, it's so pretty. And then they have white tube rose. Wait, did you smell this? Mmm, smell this one. That smell good. Dang. Love that. That. It does. I just love the packaging on these candles. It's so pretty. And just, I don't know, it just looks so refreshing. And look at these colors. Magnolia pin, Peony, Pink Musk, Milk and Honey, and Dandelion Arugula. Mm. I wonder what these smell like. These smell pretty too. Love those colors combined. And I love that too. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I was looking at that. Probably the long one. The mirrors. Hi, guys. Oh, record player. Oh so yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is 
so pretty, guys. Big ones on the bottom. Look at this big chunky rope. Oh, that's not good. That's for your beard? A man bar? Yeah. Oh, that smells good. Mmm. Which one you like? I like the that one. This one right here. Is that what it's called? Cognac. Oh, talking about like the Hennessy. Well, that's what you, that's what you, we got the Hennessy. Y'all seen that video with the girls? It's like, we got the Hennessy. So ghetto. Oh, the store is so nice in here. It has everything. Everything. Look at these here. These are like wood bases, you guys. It's a nice basket. You guys, look at these cute little cups. How cute, right? And they're $9.99. A little pineapple. Hello guys, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday you guys. I'm sitting here editing this video that's going up today and I realized after I got back from the, not the winery but the distillery, I didn't show you guys or talk to you guys anymore after that. We just kind of went over into the next day which was Sunday um, where we went to World Market and all of the things but I did want to show you guys what I got from World Market. I mean yeah, World Market and also the distillery. Um, so I want to be able to um, add that to the vlog here. And I hadn't done that so far, but I just want to add this in. But first, let me show y'all what I got from World Market. Like I was so impressed when I went in there. I didn't really, I feel like when I went in there before, I didn't really go through the store like I did that day. And I was really happy with all of the things like in the food area. Like there's so many things in there, like all kinds of stuff. Like I was so excited. But um, I was able to just grab a few things uh, that I saw I wanted to pick up. You guys know I'm all into my little, making my little cute drinks and stuff like that. So I found a few things that would, you know, kind of elevate all of that and yeah plus i wanted to try this stuff well i found a tarani um watermelon flavored syrup i've never seen watermelon um so i grabbed that one pretty much all the other ones i had um this right here elderflower and rose lemonade that sounds so good y'all can't wait to try that and the packaging is so pretty I love that and this right here is just super cute I'm loving this bottle and this is also a lemonade it's a pink lemonade um, sparkling lemonade like that and then this here is just a lychee um, drink I plan on doing something with this 
but I think I'm gonna need a larger bottle um so yeah you guys I might as well show you guys my new cup my husband bought me um I don't know if you guys heard of Brewmate. it's like a different brand um of people who make cups or, or tumblers or whatever so anyways i have a few of them and every now and again when they come out with new ones my husband normally will pick me up one or order one for me so he got this one here and i love the color you guys look how pretty that color is and this right here you can change the the top here you just turn it when you want to this thing's turn, it turns. You can open it, close it, so it'll become waterproof. You can take it off so you can clean it, all of that good stuff. So I really like this, it's pretty heavy too. Oh, this is something else that I got from uh, World Market, these little uh, dry fans, I guess. I don't know what you would call these, but they were on clearance and I figured that I could use them in my vase. I did do a little vase video here. Um, and this is for like Juneteenth theme. Someone asked me, could I do a Juneteenth theme uh, vase um, arrangement? So that's that. And um, looks like my battery is about to die. But I have one more thing I want to show you guys. Um, so like I said, when we went to the distillery, they had that those tables that were just filled with like um, decanters. So I was able to grab a couple. They're in this box here. So I'll show you guys the ones that I chose. Let's see. Yeah, I need a new uh, tripod. All right. Let me see if I can get through this before my camera actually dies so we got um we got old mr boston the one that i showed you in the video we did get him and all of these were like old decanters where there was actual whiskey inside of them this little uh corkscrew is broken and that's the reason why i dropped it because it wasn't on there securely and when i picked it up it just kind of fell so I just have to like probably glue this back or strategically place it on there, but it'll sit. But I'm thinking I might glue it back on there. We got this bottle here. Um, these are some really nice bottles, you guys. World Greatest, Off Road, I don't know. I don't know, Desert Rally. I don't know what type of whiskey was in here beam 100 months old i don't know some sort of whiskey but i got it because of the the packaging the bottle is really nice i grabbed this one here and they are all, all dusty just gotta clean them but i thought this was really nice um i got this one in memory of my aunt she was a gin lover but this right here is so different i've never seen a bottle like this it's pretty old and that's what I love about it. You guys know I love vintage. But grab that one. I got this one here because of the vintage bottle and how nice it was. I can't believe they were selling bottles that were this nice with whiskey in them. They're not doing them like this anymore. This is like an old Forrester bottle. My husband actually has some old Forrester in his bar. But I love that bottle. And this one right here, y'all look at that whiskey was in here this was a bourbon sour mash bourbon whiskey henry mckenna look at this look and this thing is heavy you hear me so nice this was a half a gallon so yeah y'all i feel like i got some good stuff and i could not believe they were actually giving these away because if they send them to the goodwill they ain't gonna do nothing but mark them up so i thought that was really nice and i'm happy about the little things that i got so yeah i just wanted to come on real quick chat for a minute show you guys what i got because i'm trying to wrap this video up and make sure it's up and out to you guys on time today um because sometimes y'all know it'd be hard Sorry about that guys, camera died as always. 
But yeah, I was just telling you guys what I was up to. The distillery was nice. At first when we pulled up, we both was like, what's up with this? Like it just looked like an old car mechanic shop, you know, and it just didn't look like the distilleries that we visited before. So we was a little thrown off, but it was, it's a smaller distillery. It's not as extravagant or anything like that by any means, but it was still nice. And the, the ladies that were there working were really nice. The tour was very interesting. And um, I mean, Babe in, enjoyed itself. And then we did a little taste testing. We met um, another couple there who, um, he's also into YouTube, but he does his channel based on like bourbons and whiskeys and reviews and things like that. So, yeah, I mean, that was still fun and something to do. My husband, you know what? He has, like, supported me through all my little endeavors, all of my trips to Hobby Lobby, all my trips to Home Good, And he's always such a good sport when it comes to just being there, driving me where I need to go, being there, not rushing me when I'm in the stores unless he's hungry. But um, I feel like um, finally he's found something that he enjoys and I want to be able to support him in the same way that he supported me all of these years, you know. And I'm kind of happy that he's found something for him to do, something that he's really interested in and, you know, really enjoys. Because now that Amari is getting ready to go to college, he was so focused on him, um, Amari and football and things like that. So now that... Amari is getting ready to go to college. I feel like this will give my husband something to do and he's even thinking about starting like a YouTube channel and things like that. So I'm excited for him. I'm really excited for him. So, you know, I just go along for the rise for the support. He took me to Bucky's, so I'm excited about that. I'm always happy to go to Bucky's, but y'all, I couldn't even pull out the camera. It was so many people in there. Bucky's, <laughs> who? Why couldn't that be my business? Bucky's have so many people coming in and out of there is crazy but um yeah i did get to go and browse around there but like i said it was just way too many people look at lovey look at lovey sunbathing oh y'all missed it she got up she must have heard me she liked to go outside and get her some sun every now and again But yeah, so I don't know what's the plan for this weekend. Um, Amari's graduated. His birthday is coming up June 11th. So um, he's going to be 18, y'all. Time is really flying. We got him across the stage. Um, thank you guys so much for all the love, support. You guys have, it's a lot of you that has been here since my kids were young. You guys have really watched them grow up guys have seen them become mothers and all of the things graduate high school prom you guys have been around for a long time i'm sure if you guys remember all of the things that that you guys mentioned to me you guys remember the daycare and all of that stuff so i love you guys for that just sticking around like it means a lot you know so yeah mari he's, he's gonna be 18 he's getting ready to be 18 it's crazy so Um, I have to get like, cause he goes to college in August. So I have to start getting like, um, so many people have asked me about, and I didn't even know this was a thing, like a wish list that you could put all of the things that he needs for his dorm and things like that he would need for college. And a lot of you guys have asked for like cash apps. I'm never giving that stuff out, but during this time, I guess I will because every little thing will help and it'll go all towards Amari get him settled if you guys want to purchase anything from his wish list for school you guys are more than welcome I'll just link it in my description box it's not going to be in this video I'll let you guys know when but so many of you over the years have wanted to send stuff or send cash I'm sorry guys my camera run out, ran out of storage but I was saying that um you know, I'm going to share that link with you guys. And if you guys just feel the, the want, you guys will be more than welcome. Um, but 
I'm normally just, I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. I don't like begging from people or asking people. Even though I'm not asking, people even ask me. I just, I don't know. But I need to change that because sometimes that's just, I don't know. Somebody tried to give me something one day. And I, I'm funny about taking stuff from people. I don't know why, but I am. But um, this person told me, don't, she was like, don't block my blessing because that was something that I was led to do, or this person, this is what they were telling me. They were led to do that for me, and that's just something that they wanted to do for me. And and I was like, oh, no, I don't know. And then she said, don't block my blessing. And then I didn't think about that until she made it, you know, said that. And I thought like, oh wow, that's deep. Because I'm a giver. I give and I want people to just, and they don't have to ask me for nothing. They don't even need to have to have a need for anything. It's just like, if I have it on my heart to give, I want to give. So I don't know why I'm like that. But anyways, you guys, I'll let you guys know when any of that information is available or when I do it, I will let you guys know. And if you wanna do something for Amari for college, by all means you want to buy a pack of paper by all means this boy is expensive i was just having that conversation with him today but anyways you guys i'm going to end it here i'm going to end it here um so i can complete this vlog and then move on to my next project um and make sure this is up for you guys today i'm trying it i'm trying I fail a lot, but I'm trying. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to check out the description box for all of the other ladies that I watch and all my other little friends here on YouTube. Um, you know, support is, 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 is needed in this community. And um, yeah, if you're new here, please subscribe if you enjoy this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.